Hello, my name is Jen Matthews um, and I have a book out with Oval Publishing in February 2019. So that's not next year, but the year after. Um, and the book's called Hooked on You and it's a crochet romance story about two 50-something year olds who meet at a crochet class. Uh, do excuse any mispronunciations. Um, I have nerve damage in my mouth and face so some of my consonants sound a little bit strange um, but I'll try really hard to make actual words come out of my mouth. <laughs> Here we go. Ollie reached below the desk to grab a handful of stuffing to pad out the body of the hedgehog keyring she was constructing. She plumped it up a bit, took the keyring finding from the desk and attached it to the small loop she'd made in the top. It stared up at her with large, friendly eyes. She smiled. Some kid is going to love this. With a sigh, she looked around her shop. For over two hours, no one had come in. I suppose no one has any extra money at the end of the month. The bell over the door tinkled. Ollie looked up with a jolt, nearly dropped the hedgehog. She let out a long breath and forced herself to relax back into her chair. No one wants to be bothered the minute they come in. The yarn stacked high was colourful and a little overwhelming to some people. I'll offer my assistance if she looks lost. This customer was standing with her chin in her hand, eyes darting about. She stood stock still as she gazed around the floor to ceiling shelves, looking like she stepped into an, Alad an Aladdin's cave. The shop was small, but Ollie tried to keep it well stocked. She had a collection of regular customers that wanted a whole variety of things. Yarn, usually. She refused to call it wool, as most of her products did, didn't contain ingredients from a sheep. Acrylic and nylon were easy to wash and cheap to purchase. Cotton and mohair were more luxurious, but a little more expensive. Ollie had even heard of yarn made from ostrich feathers, but had never been inclined to buy any. She continued to watch the woman, who seemed to be about Ollie's age and height, until the woman turned full circle and caught her eye. Ollie winder smiled, pressed her lips together. She broke the woman's gaze and lifted the hedgehog to attach a price tag to it. When she looked back up, the woman was still standing there, her eyes now trained on the keyring, one eyebrow cocked. The kids go nuts for these, Ollie said, shrugging. She narrowed her eyes briefly, stood, her hands flat on the desk. Time ticked by and the woman still didn't speak. Come on, I haven't got all day. She tapped her fingers against the desk. What can I help you with? I wanted some wool, the woman said. Ollie grimaced. Hundred percent or a blend? The woman blinked. Ollie closed her eyes. What's it for? Knitting, the woman said. Make a present for someone. Okay, Ollie said, rounding the counter. She stopped next to the woman and they looked up at the shelves. Ollie looked down at the redhead, noted her tense stance. Colour? Project? Red, the woman said. Maybe a scarf? Would that be easy? Have you knitted before? The woman shook, shook her head. Figured it can't be that difficult. We're just going to find a how-to on YouTube. Ollie raised an eyebrow. I prefer crochet myself. Bit more flexible. Is it easy? The woman asked, starting to play with, play with her fingers. I think it is, but I'm biased, Ollie said. The woman eyed the hedgehog amid a collection of various other small animals with key rings sticking out of their heads. Maybe I'll do that then. She reached to finger a ball of wool yarn at eye level. Ollie smiled, nodding. That one would work for a scarf, she said. Hooks? Excuse me, the woman asked, the corners of her mouth pulling upwards. Do you have a set of hooks? You probably need a five, maybe a five and a half for that thickness. No, I don't have hooks. This just going to be a one project event or are you planning on making a hobby out of it? The woman shrugged but took the ball of wool in her hand and squished it with her fingers. Her eyes narrowed. Not sure. My daughter is trying to push me into developing a hobby. She said crafty things are very in at the moment. The woman smiled and chuckled a bit. I'm not sure that I'm bothered about what's in exactly. Ollie chuckled back, nodding. Me neither. I just do things I enjoy. Well, apparently I don't have too many of those. Wine? I like wine. But a woman cannot live on wine alone. The woman bit her lip, still squishing the ball in her hand. Bethany says I need a hobby. Something I can do when I'm not guzzling Molo, or perhaps instead of. Sounds good to me, Ollie said. The woman sighed and looked down. Crochet then? Okay, the woman nodded back, lifting her chin, took another ball in the same colour from the little cubby hole shelf. She brought them to the till, placed them down. These then, you think? 
Great choice, Ollie replied. Hooks though? Hmm, suppose I'd better. Any trouble using your hands, arthritis? The woman's mouth opened, her arms folding. Ollie raised an eyebrow. I have a regular customer in her thirties that uses padded hooks because her knuckle joints are painful. Oh, well in that case, no. Ollie reached behind her to this display of hooks. I'd be out of a job if I couldn't use my hands. Ollie held out the pack, of, the pack of crochet hooks. The woman nodded, went into her handbag from, for her purse. Ollie rung through the items, put them in a paper bag. Money was, exchange, money was exchanged. What do you do? Ollie asked. English teacher, reams of marking and lesson planning. Ah, Ollie ad, Ollie's eyebrows rose. Yes, I can't imagine having arthritis would be a great thing with that career. No. YouTube though, Ollie asked, her lips squishing into a tight O shape. The woman nodded. No good, Ollie said. You should learn properly. Face to face lessons. Are you offering? The woman asked, flip, flicking, flip, flicking her eyebrows up, pursing her lips. Well, I run a couple of classes. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Only a fiver a pop. And you get three cups of tea. The woman tilted her head to one side. No need to decide now, Ollie said, gesturing into the air with a hand, then grabbing one of her business cards from the counter. Give me a ring if you're interested. The woman took the card, looked at it for a moment. I'll have a go with YouTube first. If I need you, I'll call you. Ollie nodded, a tight smile tugging at her features. Speak to you soon then. The woman pursed her lips and narrowed her eyes, but smiled as she took her bag to the door. Ollie allowed the grin to spread onto her face.